I actually got really involved in my local Democratic Party a couple of years ago. And um, I, I kind of relate to some of those folks who were uh, complaining to some of you guys saying, oh, you could do more or you should talk about this or that. And I'm at the point now where those folks need to get off the couch and go find your local Democratic Party and just show up. You would be absolutely shocked at how easy it is. You gain credibility really quickly. Um, and just in the two years that I've been doing it, I was uh, became a precinct captain, which gave me some voting power for my county's leadership. And I'm also my township chair now. Um, so I guess my message is just uh, there's there's so much more people could be doing than complaining on Twitter all the time. And it's driving me nuts. Well, <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something. It's interesting you brought that up because I think I, we had this uh, conversation sort of like this yesterday that, you know, from my perspective, and I think I said reformation of the Democratic Party, which I mean literally means like displacing the leadership and replacing the leadership. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, I'm, when you go through like the, the 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 last two weeks of the Supreme Court um, were the culmination of sort of. It was like, you know, like that delayed kidney punch type of situation from the election of, of Trump. And in many respects, the the the, the depression and the uh, the reorientation that had to happen after Trump um, struck again. Right. Because we are now there. The, 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 the Supreme Court has basically announced we're not going to slow walk this. We're going to, in fact, you know. We're going to we're going to gobble up as much as we can at this point. And and um, and and so I, personally, like I am in a uh, period of sort of saying, like, you know, what is the best functioning of the show uh, going forward, at least in this in this era, in this period? I mean, it, it shifts at different times and it has over the course of, you know, uh, 12 or 18 years, however you want to measure it. And one of the things I think that I've been thinking about is the idea of encouraging people and giving people a sense that they can run locally and, yes. um, and providing those resources. So like, you know, I, I just, you know, and it's only been a couple of days since I've been really thinking about it, but that is one of the things that I'm thinking about, you know, it's not a complete reorientation of the show, but like it would be, um, you know, one of the things that we will try and look for guests, you know, just to talk about, like, what do you do as a Democratic county chair? Like demystify these things, because I think a lot of the things that hold people back from getting involved and, and not just the Democratic Party. I mean, I think, you know, we would do this for all sorts of different types of groups and organizations that you can get into. But people don't, I think, just think it's harder than it probably is. Uh, for sure to become like someone who can actually influence the outcome of district elections congressional district yep. elections statewide elections uh i mean you know that's why we had on you know aaron today it was just like your dollar and your organizing everything you do because it's a smaller pond and the ponds you're talking about, it starts at like a puddle, essentially. And uh, it goes right. doubly for states that aren't uh, blue states. Like I, my buddy in Texas, like he and his friends got way like they they're progressing way faster than I would have expected because there's not the party is just kind of decrepit. And if you're in like a red state, it, like a smaller red state, it's probably the same thing. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. And. And I just say, you know, one of the things, and it's really great that you're looking to do that, but right now I'm trying to find candidates to run for my local municipal election. And it's, you know, incredibly difficult. And, and literally, like, we'll take almost, maybe not anyone, but, you know, we're looking for people. Like, that's, that's how it feels right now. So I think people should stop, uh, you know, being scared. Maybe, I, I mean, I wasn't really educated about how this worked until I got into it, but it doesn't take much to figure it out. And I mean, my main pe message to folks, if you're feeling frustrated and you feel powerless, just find, you know, either your local Democratic Party or some other progressive organizations that you believe in and just show up. 
just show up. It's that easy. And then you can figure out like, oh, maybe there's, uh, maybe I'm really good at social media and I'll be able to volunteer and help them manage your social media page. Or maybe I'm really good at analyzing data and I can help pull targeted uh, door knocking lists for our volunteers. I mean, the, the list of possibilities is endless and um, you'll never know what you can contribute until you show up and raise your hand and say, hey, I'm here. Yeah, that's a great, um, uh, great point. Uh, where, where again are you uh, located? I'm in, I'm in Lake County, Illinois, um, and actually, we were, we're only. Uh, I'm, I'm in the Ela Township, which is kind of like we're, we're pretty. Cl- we're uh, the county right above Cook County on mm-hmm. the way to Wisconsin, um, and in fact, the same county that the Highland Park shooting happened in. Um, and in fact, we had just finished marching in our 4th of July parade um, at the same time that they were doing it. And we saw some of our local candidates that mentioned there was a shooting. So, you know, uh, there's lots to do. We know there's lots to do, but we also know we need more people to come out and uh, just just help in any way they can. So. Well, pop into the discord if you can and uh, majoritydiscord.com. And if there's any folks in that area who want to get involved, maybe they can reach out to you. Great. I'll do that. All right. Great. Thanks. I appreciate the call. Uh, and uh, really cool says and get involved in your local DSA and working families party. Absolutely. Absolutely.